Fellow problem solvers, welcome back. So we're starting with a new topic today, geometry of straight lines. And yes, how lines work together. Today, parallel lines versus perpendicular lines. Have fun. Stay tuned for more. Good day, fellow problem solvers. Hope you're doing very well. Today we're talking about the geometry. We're starting with a chapter on the geometry of straight lines. And specifically focusing on perpendicular and parallel lines and what it means. So I'm going to go above and beyond grade 8 today just for the sake of introducing this concept. So first of all, perpendicular means that two lines form a 90 degree angle. Now this block that I've been drawing there, that means that this angle is equal to 90 degrees. So the moment lines are like this, you know they are perpendicular. Secondly, the moment we talk about parallel lines, we are referring to two lines that have the exact slope. Or in other terminology, we'll use the word gradient. This means that the distance between these two lines will always be the same. Okay, so that is important to, to remember that concept. So same distance apart. Always. That means these two lines will never touch each other. They will always be the same distance apart. So a term that we like to use is the word gradient. And the symbol for gradient is M. So let's say this is M1 and M2. And over here, we say it's M3 and M4. So the gradient is the slope. Think of an incline or a decline, anything like, like, like a hill, two hills with the same slope. That means they've got the same gradient. So the gradient is the rate of change, how this slope. So if it's moving upwards, if you go from left to right, it will have a positive slope. If it's going horizontal like this, the slope will be zero. And if it's going down like this from left to right, the slope or the gradient will be negative. So this is how we interpret and understand gradient. Um, a fun fact re regarding perpendicular lines is if you've multiplied the two gradients with each other, you will get an answer of negative one. And remember, this is not, not for grade eight, but it is something to take note of already for your future mathematics development. Stay tuned for more and have a lovely day.